The objective is to decompose fractions as a sum of unit fractions using tape diagrams. Here is a tape diagram of a fraction. What does this represent? Well, it's divided into six parts. And then so, we write six, and we're looking at one, two, three, four, six. So the fraction we are looking at is four, six. Next, we're asked to record the decomposition as a sum of unit fractions. So you've got four, six here, which is really just one, six, one, six, one, six, and one more six added together. So 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 does equal 4 6. The question now is that can you decompose this fraction in another way? How about the sum of two fractions? Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Could I go just these two? which would be 2, 6, plus what? 2, 6 does equal 4, 6. Is there another one that you could think about? If I had 1, 6, how many more 6 would I need? Right, 3. 1, 6 and 3, 6 says to give you 4, 6. Take a moment to read the instructions. First, it says to draw a tape diagram for the given fraction. So we have a tape diagram where it is that we're looking at a whole and dividing it into how many parts? Right, 10. And then we are looking at 7 of those tenths. That's why we'll shade it in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. And then we'll make sure to label it as well. 7 tenths does equal what as that sum of unit fractions? That's what it looks like next. So 7 tenths, how many tenths is that that we have to add together? 7 of them. Now if we were just looking again here, one of the things we could do for the next part right here, it says record the decomposition another way. We could use our tape diagram to help us, right? In other words, we could start labeling it to be, okay, we have this part and this part. That would be one, two, three, four tenths with three tenths. Seven tenths does equal four tenths plus three tenths. Is there another way that you could write it? Well, let's see. I guess I could go 2 tenths plus 2 tenths plus how many tenths? 3 tenths does equal 7 tenths. That's a number sentence. I also could have gone 3 tenths plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 2 tenths. There's a number of ways that I could have written this fraction. I could have written that decomposition within another manner. Okay, it's your turn to try. Take this fraction right here, draw a tape diagram, give me a number sentence using unit fractions, and then decompose it another way with another number sentence. Pause the video while you do your work. Did you start with the tape diagram where you labeled it one, separated it into five parts, and making sure that you shade it in four of those parts, labeling it four-fifths. Next, a number sentence with unit fractions. Well, that would be four-fifths does equal one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. Decomposing in another way, decomposing it in another manner, I could have written four-fifths does equal two-fifths plus two-fifths. Or maybe you wrote four-fifths equaling two-fifths plus one-fifth plus one-fifth.
plus one fifth. You could have broken it apart a couple of different ways there. Let's try to look at another problem. Here we have nine sevenths. Let's draw and shade a tape diagram of that given fraction. Nine sevenths we know is more than one. So I'll start with one and I'll divide it into seven or nine parts. Right, seven parts. Well, if I start shading these in, how many sevenths do I have? Six, seven sevenths does equal one. How many more sevenths do I need? Well, it looks like I need eight and nine, so that I have nine sevenths modeled there. Next thing that I'm going to do is to record the decomposition as number sentences. Let me finish labeling my tape diagram here. Could have two sevenths as one of the decompositions along with seven sevenths. So that nine sevenths does equal two sevenths plus seven sevenths. Or that nine sevenths equals three sevenths plus three sevenths plus three sevenths. Is there another one that you can think of? Well, you could use these unit fractions, right? 9 sevenths equals 1 seventh plus 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 1 seventh. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Three more still. 1 seventh, 1 seventh, and 1 seventh. These ones here are unit fractions where that numerator is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Remember that 9 sevenths does equal 1 and 2 sevenths, as my diagram shows. I probably, with my diagram, should have shown the whole thing where it is that it does equal 9 sevenths. Would you be able to model this and write two number sentences for it? You try it. Read what you have, one and three-fourths. Pause the video while you do your work. Well, let's start with one. Divide it into four parts. So right now I have four-fourths. And how many more fourths do I need? Well, it says three-fourths. So we got one-fourth, two-fourths, and three-fourths. So I can label that. So I have that modeled, just needing to shade it in. Four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, and seven fourths. Well, I definitely have one number sentence there. We have four fourths plus three fourths does equal seven fourths. I could write seven fourths as my unit fractions. Did you get a different one? How about the sum of three of them? Let's see, two-fourths plus three-fourths plus how many-fourths? Right, two-fourths does equal seven-fourths. Two, five, six, seven, seven-fourths. So that we have different ways that we can express this and decompose these fractions and mixed numbers as the sum there. We can break them apart or decompose them in different ways using tape diagrams to help or assist us. What is being shown here? Hmm. Well, let's only look at the whole. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many six is that? Right, six, six. And then so these are six. Each of these are six. That's a six, that's a six, and that's also a six. Or you might have looked at that and said, okay, well, that's three six. So I could express that as six six plus three six does equal nine six. I can also express it as, let's see, 
as the sum of those unit fractions, 1 6 plus 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 1 6 equaling 9 6. And remember, this here is called a the decomposition, and it's a number sentence. It's a number sentence because we have that equal sign within there. So another way I could have written it is 3 6 plus 3 6 plus 3 6 equaling 9 6. Or I could have written it as 3 6 plus 3 6 plus the sum of those unit fractions to equal 9 6 still. What mixed number are we looking at? Well, it looks like 1 and 3 6. 9 6 does equal 1 and 3 6 as well. So we've been working through these types of problems, and we will continue to work within fractions to look at these decompositions in different ways. In this case, we were decomposing 1 and 3 6. We could have decomposed even as 1 along with 3 6.